electronics manufacturing is already complicated enough and you don't want to add soldering issues on top. That's why I'm here at the Almit stand at Productronica 2023 to find out more about a new solder paste technology and to hear the success story behind the DB1 soldering wire. Fabian Mendel, it's great to see you here at Almit at Productronica 2023. We spoke a couple of years ago at this trade fair. Maybe you could start with a quick introduction to what Almit does, your key areas of focus and yourself. Yeah, hi, nice to see you here again. We are Almit um, in Germany, um, focusing on soldering wire and solder paste, manufactured in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, our key point is uh, to deliver very high quality of soldering material, especially for aerospace, medical or automotive industry. And uh, yeah, I am Fabian Mendel and uh, successor of the um, leading management team in IMA Germany. Yeah. Now, what are the key soldering failures that the electronics industry sees during manufacture? Yeah, it's um, nowadays we have a lot of problems um, in the field with, for example, graping or malfunctional uh, solder joints. And uh, we try to fight that with uh, high quality soldering, uh, soldering material, especially solder pastes and wires, which can uh, affect a very good solder joint, a uh, long time reliable solder joint, which makes the customer without headache in the end. Now you, here at the show, you're introducing the new NHGE solder paste. Exactly. How does that go about tackling some of those challenges? Yeah, this new solder paste is especially meant um, to fight against these malfunctional um, solder joints. Um, it's a halide-free um, uh, solder paste and especially made against a graping and against the um, voids especially. So it's yeah, really a, uh, a solder paste meant to fight against all these standard problems like graping and uh, voids in the solder joint. Now you mentioned there that NHG is also halogen-free. For which industries is halogen-free really important? Yeah. Uh, it's actually especially automotive industry wants halide free products nowadays uh, for us it's a standard uh, almost all, every product we release are halide free or at least we produce a series and we have a halide free product in the series so um, for especially automotive industry it's important that the halides which are in the flux of the solder joint in the end they still keep working and um, for some products it's a problem when they are used several years and have more climate um, effect like warm cold warm cold um, it can be a problem when there are halides inside not every time but uh, for example automotive industry they want to get rid of this risk uh, and they want to take it uh, they don't want to take it so they just say we use halide free only yeah. Now, when we last spoke, you were launching the DB1 soldering wire. What's yes. the market response been to that product? Exactly. It's, uh, we launched it two years ago and uh, the market response is great. We have a uh, really very nice um, response. Uh, the product is very popular. Everybody likes it a lot. When we supply it to, to the customer or when he tests it, 90% they follow us in order, so it's a really, really nice success, this product. So what is it about the um, DB irons that people are finding so exciting? Um, yeah, the DB1 is a, a double boost technology. It's actually the first solar wire uh, where we have this technology or where we have this in general in the market. Um, it's using two different activators in the flux. So on the one hand, it's a very uh, persistent um, activator and a very fast one. So we have a very fast wetting, but the flux is, is working for a, lot, for a really long time. So the process speed can be increased a lot. And uh, this is actually a key part. And when you have it and when you solder it, you, uh, you experience it right away. You can see how fast it wets and the customers are really really much uh, yeah, enjoying it. 
same for hand soldering, but also for automatic soldering, especially that. Yeah. Now I know engineers, they love good quality technical information and going over your website, I, I got um, in touch with you to get a copy of the Almit Compendium, which can yes. only be described as a sort of soldering Bible. Yes. It's a fantastic resource. Uh, do you have any plans to update that in the coming years? Yeah, the Almit Compendium, it's like our soldering Bible, as you said. Um, it's also very successful for many years. and. Uh, we typically update it every three to four years and actually next year we will have a new one, the 5.0 and uh, we have one example here, I can show it to you and uh, yeah, we will have very nice new articles inside, technical articles, um, expert articles actually and of course all the whole compendium which all the different technical data which are important actually for all engineers in soldering industry. Well, Fabian Mendel, it's been great catching up with you again. I'm really pleased to hear about the success of the DB1 soldering wire and I'm really looking forward to the next uh, issue of the Compendium 5.0. Let's bring it on. Thank you very much, Stia.